Welcome everyone to my channel that is Fast and Easy Maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today I am going to show you a brilliant trick of doing subtraction without pen and paper. After this trick you will be able to do subtraction literally in your head. So how do we do this okay. So there are few things we will start with and then I will later on show you big big subtractions which you can do literally in your mind okay. So please stick around because you need to know the actual process of doing these kind of subtractions before doing the bigger ones okay. So let's say if we wanted to subtract 100 minus 43 okay. So all you have to do in this case is what you have to take this 0 as what 10 and this entire 10 now comes out to be 9 that's it that's the only thing you need to remember okay so you subtract the unit digit from 10 so that gets you 7 and the next digit from 9 so that is what 5 this is your answer okay now let's do this very very quickly if we had to subtract 36 from 100 so 10 taken from sorry 6 taken from 10 we get 4 and 3 taken from 9 we get what 6 okay so this is your answer when it happens like you are you're subtracting anything from 100 now why have I taken 100 and thousands first because the trick which I am trying to show you is going to help you to understand this particular difference as well okay so let's say if we had to subtract 1000 from let's say 154 we had to subtract from 1000 so now this is 10 so 4 taken from 10 gets you 6 9 so 5 taken from 9 gets you 4 then again 9 so 1 taken from 9 gets you 8 that is your answer okay now uh, let's do this one very big big number if we had to do and we had to do let's say 7 5 3 so now in this case if you see we will take your what 10 so 10 is taken uh, sorry 3 taken from 10 we get 7 9 so 5 taken from 9 gets you 4 9 so here also there is a 9 so we will take this as what um, 7 taken from 9 is going to get you 2 and then this is going to be 9 itself so this is your answer for this kind of a subtraction now this is something which I hope you all have understood that we have something like tens, thousand, thousand or hundred you know when you have these kind of numbers and you have to subtract other numbers from there so this is how you are going to do it now imagine if i give you something like this if we had to do subtraction of 88 and from 29 okay so your obviously your entire method would be what make it 18 and then make this 7 and all that okay but no i'm going to teach you a method which will help you to do this literally without pen and paper okay so what you do is we take what this is 29 and let's say this is 88 okay so we take a number which is very like you know in between them and which is very cute, convenient for us to do the calculation. Now let's say I have taken 30. So I know that 30 is how many digits away from 29 that is 1. And uh, 88 is how many digits away from uh, 30 that is how much? 58. Correct? So basically your final answer will be nothing but what 59. Yeah. If you want to see you can make this what? This is 18 and this is 7. So 9 taken from 18 gets you 9 and 2 taken from 7 gets you 5, right? But see, this is so much easier. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, let's say we had to do 79 minus 46. Again, now I'll take the middle number as 50. If I'm taking the middle number as 50, so we have your what 4. And here this is what 29. So 29 plus 4, the answer is 33. You can literally see how easily you are able to do this. But students, please remember for any trick for you to be able to actually do this without pen and paper whenever i do tell you when a pen and paper means you have to practice this trick to let it sink in okay so you need to literally practice this for 10 to 12 sums and then once it settles down in your mind you will be able to do this for rest of your life okay students if you liking the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay now see this I took big big numbers now imagine if I had to do 129 from 88 so like sorry we have to subtract 88 from 129 so now let's take the middle number as what 100 
so this is what 12 digits away from 100 and this is 29 digits away from 100 so this gets you what 11 1 carry 41 that is your answer correct so you saw this is getting much much easier and always remember it is our basic understanding that whenever we have subtraction we always prefer addition over subtraction similarly goes for mul uh, multiplication and division we always prefer multiplication over division okay so that is why we have taken this kind of a trick because this helps you to do addition and which can be done literally in seconds okay now imagine if we had to do let's say we take a bigger number 276 minus uh, let's say if we had taken 167 so now here if i take the middle number as 170 okay so this is what three digits away from 70 and this is what 106 digits away from 70 okay so that gets you what 109 that is your answer okay now let's do one more if uh, we had let's say 573 minus 139 okay so now let's take this as um, what this particular uh, let's take 140 as the middle number so we have one digit away from 140 and this is let's say 433 digits away from 140 okay so this is now basically going to get you 434 that is your answer for this kind of a subtraction now let's do one more let's say we are involving a thousand so in 0 to 4 subtracting 996 again now here this is this looks so difficult right but with this method it will be so easy because we'll take the middle number as what thousand so this is what four digits away from thousand and this is 24 digits away from thousand this is 28 the answer is 28 for this particular subtraction okay now let's do one more very very quickly we have uh, 1108 and uh, let's subtract uh, again let's subtract 981 so again we have what this is 108 digits away from 1000 and this will be what 19 digits away from 1000. So when you add this we get 127. So I hope you all are getting how easily we are able to do these kind of questions. Okay, Students apart from this if you have any doubts then please let me know so in the comment section and if you want uh, to a hard copy of all these Vedic matrix then there is a book the link of that book is available in the description please go ahead and check it out. Okay so now coming to your DIY I want you all to tell me what is the difference when we take uh, uh, 49 away from 91. Okay, so do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.